Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our daily card reading for March 18th, 2020. So today we have Moonstone Cycles and this is incredibly interesting, especially given all the cards we've been getting each day for the past several days. Uh, you know, I think we're being taught that in this cycle we need to look at our emotional selves, our way of connecting with one another and agree to let this cycle end. The cycle of fear, the cycle of being suspect of your neighbor. And I do that too. I, you know, I'm a, as I've been saying for the past several days, I'm a very sensitive person. And so, you know, I'm always w waiting for someone to kind of sting me a little bit. And, you know, I, it's hard. It's really hard to kind of go through life expecting, I'm a, a little jumpy, I guess, is what I want to say. I'm a little jumpy <laughs> sometimes. And what we're being taught about this cycle that we're in, we're in this emotional cycle. We have to look at where we need to take some different turns. How can we embrace our divine feminine energy? Where is our wisdom? How can we connect into our hearts? We had the compassion card a few days ago too. So Moonstone says it's time to clear away. It's time to be done. These cycles of me against you, our social media days of look how cute I can be. Look how awesome my life is. I'm a spiritual guru. And here's what I have to say about that. And yet they never, they never show you any part of their life. They're, they're never honest on camera. They get their script written. They stand in front of the camera in their same setup every single time. And they say something that sounds wise, but really is just regurgitating what we've already heard. And you never see them as people. We're ending a cycle, maybe not just today, but <laughs> we're seeing the conclusion of a time where we don't want to just hate on one another. We don't want a facade talking at us. We, we want to tap back in and I think heal our humanity, heal humanity as a whole. And we're figuring it out. We're taking steps. And I wonder what happens on this day. I wonder what's going to happen. Because I feel like a lot of people are going to hit sort of an emotional wall. Now this can go one way where people numb out. And they get kind of um, used to, complacent about what's going on. Or what's happening in their life. And they just stop caring. Or it could go the other way, where people wake up and kind of shake out of it and go, wait a minute, this is messed up. Neighbor, what is it that you need? What are you afraid of? I'm afraid I'm not going to get my medicine. Why is that? Well, I can't drive right now. Let me see if I can do something. Let me see if I can help. I'm telling you guys, I live in a very military town and... Every military person I've come across in the past, oh my goodness, maybe a month. That they, I want to say it's been going on about a month. I mean, they have the most, like they're off in another world. And you pass by them and you say hello and it's almost like they just woke up out of a dream. And that's, you know, military first responders, you know, your police officers, your nurses, your ER doctors, you know. All those people, those are traumatizing kinds of careers. And so if they're getting overloaded, those are the people that show up and help us, right? And I, I want to say, I guess what I'm getting at here is that there's this cycle where we're burning out our first responders. We're burning out people in, you know, like, especially like nurses and doctors and, you know, we, I don't, I'm just tapping in here to see what the solution is because <laughs> I felt like I wanted to say that as part of this cycle, um, we're getting into a cycle where maybe first responders can't respond. 
or they're homesick or there's no medicine or there's it's something around that that's coming up we're getting into a cycle where what we have taken for granted is going to be taken away maybe in some cases temporarily but we are this is a big awakening time guys this is really awakening us to what we've gotten too used to what we've become numb to sure um yeah and i'm just waiting to see the only thing i keep feeling is the peace within the peace within so this isn't to stress you out this is to understand we need to bring this to a conclusion okay we keep allowing it to go on every man for himself that don't work (laughs) that is not going to work anymore that needs to be done um you know, people panicking and such. And I get some, I mean, I'm not panicking, but I get why people are concerned. But people are taking it way too far. And actually, people are taking this time as an opportunity to control one another. Watch. I'm not wrong about that. Watch. Watch. I was in a a public restroom. Which, you know, nothing's lost on me. I was like, this is a public restroom. But I hated pu- uh, public restrooms before anything started happening. <laughs> I always found them disgusting. But <laughs> there was a woman who, um, you know, came out. And we're both doing the, you know, proper hand washing and the whole bit. And then somebody like bumped into her. And she was just like, oh, oh my gosh. Could, you know, and she, just, she didn't really like go off. But it was in her energy. She was just like, oh, you know, like somebody just touched her. Okay, girl, calm yourself. Okay, calm. Nobody came a hacking in your face. Okay, you're fine. You're going to live. It's going to be good. Uh, (laughs) But, you know, there was this energy that she was throwing at this person who just accidentally bumped into her. No big deal. And she got frustrated that someone didn't hold the door for her. Okay, let me get my hands all dirty again. It wasn't me. It was somebody else. But I'm thinking this person must have been like, okay, let me get my hands all dirty so you don't have to touch the door. Right? Uh, There's a story. I don't know if you guys saw the thing going around on Facebook. It's actually really funny. This woman does, uh, I guess it's technically a little rant in her car (laughs) where she's talking about how this woman was in, again, a grocery store. And uh, she, the woman in front of her, insisted that the cashier wash his hands because he lightly brushed his face. And she was like, You're going to wash your hands, and that's it. And you know, that, like, controlling. And then in the rant, which is super funny, the woman goes on to say, yeah, she made him use hand sanitizer. And then she acted like she saved us all from, you know, that thing. And if you guys want to know, people keep commenting. Have you not heard that YouTube is demonetizing YouTubers? We're not allowed to say the word. Yeah. If you didn't know, there it is. <laughs> That's why. Um, but anyway, this woman goes on to say, you know, she's like, you know, martyring herself. Like, oh, I, I just, I did that for everyone kind of thing. And then she proceeds to use the keypad that everybody has touched. She walks out with groceries that have been handled by numerous people. <laughs> so I know that was such a great point. But, you know, let this cycle be done. Okay. Let's not keep doing this to one another. Let's not use... Um, something that is serious yes absolutely but you know this is a time to unite as opposed to you know again trying to control one another so I hope that makes sense I'm not sure I can go on about that but um we're in a we're in one cycle that needs to end yes there is a cycle going around but this too shall end uh but it it will come back if we don't realize what that deeper lesson is. If we are not kinder to one another, we are going to keep manifesting, you know, disease and illness. It's going to keep happening. So what are we going to clear away? We need to get on it. Okay. So thanks for hanging with me, guys. I know these have been a little bit longer these past few days, but there's a lot to talk about. There's a lot of energy out there, but I am sending you all so much love and take care. Bye-bye.